Have you ever noticed how when you're around a narcissistic person, it feels like you have to be around them or there's something really special about them or there's something about them that makes you keep coming back and you feel like if you don't have it, you get kind of get that fear of missing out feeling or the fear of losing something really amazing. So narcissists use something called scarcity and what they do is they create a a situation where it seems like their attention and affection is a scarce and far off thing that forces you to feel like fighting for it or to constantly be seeking it and feel like you're missing it all the time. And when you're missing it, what do you want? You want more of it. So it basically, it keeps you in the cycle of feeding them attention, giving them the narcissistic supply that they're after. I am Lise Colucci and I am here to help you understand narcissism and to transform your life after narcissistic people have been in it. So let's talk about this scarcity. Basically, sometimes a narcissistic person will act as if what they provide for you is a rare and special thing. They will try to make it seem like they have this magical world or this, they have all the answers or they provide all of the source of whatever it is you might need in your life and then they take it away. Then they dole it out in tiny little drops, keeping you chasing that thing that it is you needed in the first place. So what they'll do is they'll set up a situation where you need something from them. It could be anything. It could be affection. It could be finances. It could be attention. It could be time spent with them. It could be anything within the relationship that are normal things to have set up in relationships, okay? But they'll set it up in a way where they are the source of it because they will isolate you from friends, they will triangulate situations, and they will create a situation where they are the main source of something in particular that you need in that relationship. And then what they do is they take it away. And when they take it away, they start handing you little breadcrumbs of it, little pieces of it. And through this, they become the source of the thing that you need in the relationship, the thing you need in the relationship becomes huge because you're not getting it and you're not having needs and it basically they go after things that are needs or absolute requirements in, in healthy relationships, right? And you start starving for it. And when you're starving for it, then you chase it. And when you chase it, what do you do? You give them supply. I mean, have you noticed that when you're with a narcissistic person, it feels like they stop giving altogether and you're the one doing everything in the relationship that is anything where there's an abundance of giving. This scarcity that they create, it's, it's a tactic, right? I mean, it's used in advertising. It's used in all kinds of situations where people are being manipulated into believing that they need something that they really don't need. So when you mix this up with trauma bonding and you're feeling like you need something from a narcissist and you're not getting it and you're trauma bonded, it's like double whammy where you most likely feel like you can't survive without that thing that they would be providing you. Some of the other ways that they might use this scarcity is in their time. They may dole out their time to you in small doses or they may give you lots of time so you don't have any time to yourself and then they give you that in small doses. and. Whatever it is they think you need, they're gonna give you the opposite, right? They're gonna give you the feeling of needing it more so that when they give it, it's highly valuable. They will limit their attention and affection. They're either too busy or work is too stressful or they haven't seen their friends in forever and so then they're always with their friends or they, you know what it is, you know what I mean? They are limiting their time on purpose and not allocating enough time toward the relationship or towards you very obviously creating a sense of need and scarcity within the relationship. This stuff is really painful when you're going through it. Let me know in the comments if you've experienced this and how you dealt with it or what it made you feel and what it created in the relationship that made it harder to get away from this person. So here's a good one, okay? They make it seem and they will even say, finding a good man or finding a good woman is hard to do. That it's impossible to find a good person in this world, or no one's gonna love you as much as I do, right? No one's gonna treat you the way I do. And they convince you of this through repeatedly telling you this over and over and slipping that comment into situations even when it's not appropriate, so that you believe they are all you can get. 
That is a form of scarcity that makes it seem like you're on an island and the rest of the world is full of disgusting things and all you have is this person that you're with. Sometimes they will make sure it looks like they're sought after. They will tell you about everyone that's flirting with them. They will tell you about people who have interest in them. They will continually tell you about their exes who loved them so much or still are in love with them, whatever it is to create a sense of scarcity. If it's not a romantic relationship, even a workplace can do this. They can talk about how much better other employees are or the heyday of the company when you weren't there. You know, situations that make you on the outside of this glorious thing that isn't there anymore, that they are lamenting so that you feel like you need to do your best to recreate that situation or to be better than the other things in the relationship. And what does that give them but ultimate supply? So sometimes they'll create an extreme need and, and often this is one of the ways they use financial abuse where they'll create an extreme need in the relationship and in you so that you are reliant on them. Let's just look at it really simply. They create a need, say it's finances, where you are completely and 100% reliant upon them. It could be parents, it could be a partner, it could be anything. It could be work not paying you, right? Or a situation where someone controls your money and they're doling it out in unfair and unjust ways. So once they have that need in you for you seeking the money and the finances from them, as in this situation we're describing, then you are absolutely under their control and you will give them everything that they are requesting, requiring, and needing in order to stay safe, in order to feel like you have things, have safety, right? Are able to survive. It's tapping into a basic survival instinct when they do this. And it's not always finances, but finances is a good way to describe this one. So I have a question for you guys. Are you enjoying these videos? If so, hit the thumbs up and hit subscribe. All right, so this is an interesting one. A narcissistic person can create scarcity in a relationship because of the way they focus their attention. A lot of narcissistic people can only put their attention on one person at a time and they love doing it because they're love bombing that person, right? While they're dismissing everybody else. So if you are in a family with a narcissistic person in it. Let's just make up a scenario if you are a husband and wife and let's call the wife the narcissist this time and she is putting her attention on the children. She will leave you on the outside and then she will make you think you're being jealous of your own child when in fact she's giving you zero attention, zero affection, zero connection and zero inclusion in that family dynamic. And so, of course, you are seeking some of that back for yourself because that's what healthy relationships should have. So they do this with this triangulation of other people and they have the capacity to focus on that other person with the love bombing or the attention seeking from that person and dismissing everybody else around them. Oftentimes, you are one of those other people that they are dismissing. That, if you are their partner, if you are their child, if, you, if they are an important person in your life, will create a sense of scarcity in you that makes you seek and pull and request attention and affection from that narcissist. And in that same way, they may pit two people against one another in a form of triangulation where the back and forth between the two people is always relating back to the narcissist, but the narcissist doesn't have to do any work to make that happen because they've already set up a dynamic of enemies between two people or conflict between two people. So when the conflict goes back and forth, the narcissist takes all of the supply and attention. Both of the people going back and forth are fighting for the attention of the narcissistic person and therefore scarcity is in play because one or the other or both are not being given attention and affection on purpose. So those are just some of the ways narcissists use scarcity to manipulate situations, take power, take control, and control the entire relationship, and make sure that the supply that they have in you 
doesn't go away. If you need help with anything regarding narcissism, regarding healing from narcissistic relationships, there's coaching, there's group coaching, and there's peer support all in the main description of every video. Make sure you check out some of the other videos on this channel for more information on all things related to narcissistic relationships and narcissistic people and healing from them. So check it out. Okay. See you next time. Bye-bye.